angels, top of the afternoon to you all. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in to my beautiful, beautiful video. I'm so much grateful for your efforts. So today, I'm in the market I am in is close to the artisan market, and I want to do uh, street food in this market. I don't really know what the market is called, but I want to try some street food here in Bamako, Mali. So you guys all come along with me. Welcome to Mali, Bamako. First of all, I want to try this thing. I've never seen co dried coconuts, you know, people selling dried coconuts on the streets of Ghana before. This is my first time and I want to show it to you guys. So, yeah, I don't know whether they've added salt or whatever they have added. I don't know. So, we want to taste it and see how it tastes like. So, yeah. Okay. coconuts on the streets but here they have dried coconuts which has been broken like it has been removed from the shell and they are selling it so yeah I'm tasting it you guys know dried coconuts already so it's just a normal one they've added salt so it tastes so good all right let's go mm -hmm. They peel it, they break it. In Ghana, you just see this with maize. They sell it with maize, but this place, they sell it like this raw. You buy it, they put some salt water for, on it for you. Oh, yeah. So let's continue. This is how this place looks like. We are looking for the next street food joint. Yeah. In Mali, Bamako. In this market, market and Korean. The market is close to the artisan market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sam Lavita. Oh, dear. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 I have a camera, I'm going to have a video. I'm going to play, I'm going to have a gun out there. I'm going to have a call out there. Eh? I'm going to have a video. They are selling raw cassava on the streets. Like, that is their street food. You buy it and chew it like that. Man, I don't know if anybody can do that. I know that when we are peeling cassava at home, we chew it raw. But buying it on the streets, raw and chewing, I've never seen it before. Don't be so Oh, go my feeling. Maybe I look at you, but I want to look at you. Guys, I'm shocked. Raw cassava on the streets. You buy it and you treat it like that. Hey, God. Bin and Vigo. Hey, guys, look at that. Come here. Sampara, this is Sampara. Wow. Raw cassava. 
Kava on the streets of Mali. So, so, <laughs> guys, I'm shocked. I've never seen this in my life. People like selling raw cassava as street food in Mali. This is what you get, like the strangest things I've seen this afternoon here in this market in Bamako, Mali. I'm so shocked. Wow. Like a normal cassava, you know, it's not that I've not chewed raw cassava before, but we don't sell it on the streets. But I've never chewed it with salt. This is my first time chewing it with salt. Oh, my friend, bye bye. Bye bye. Whoa, yeah. raw cassava, you guys, raw cassava on the streets of Mali in the market wow the strangest food street food ever getting shocked by eating raw cassava or in the streets of Mali Bamako so welcome to Mali. This is what you get when you come to Mali. The street food, one of the street foods here in Mali, Bamako. Oh, <laughs> I got them that come from over three street food. So this is how this market looks like. This place is not that busy. We are outside of the market. That's why it's not that busy. Right? So my camera is gonna go off in some few minutes. I wanna add another street food, but if I'm not able to and the camera goes off, thank you so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate you know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and know that it's not too late to subscribe. It is better late than never. And if you are doubting whether you have to subscribe or not, oh my goodness, doubt is a killer. It is better to try it than never trying at all. What do you think? Drop a comment and let me know. Ooh, young <coughs> Guys, me, I'm still hungry. I want to taste some real street food that will satisfy me. So, what are they selling here? I want to know. Rice. I don't want to eat rice, with you guys. Rice is not strange. I want to eat something strange something that I've not eaten before right or something that 
is not sold on the streets in Ghana right that's what I wanna buy so when I get that I get right back to you to you hey you guys the sun here is so scorchy I won't even lie to you like before I leave here I think my skin will become like charcoal because it's extremely hot you feel like you are in hell I've never been to hell but this is this is too much for me right wow this is too much for me how are you because street food I recommend I feel wow you got me now whoa you guys in my life guys I'm running I'm running to get something I'm running I want to buy some I want to buy some this is a fruit like coconut but it's very hard i've forgotten the name so when i get home i'll look for the name and i'll let you guys know but it's a street food here they sell in Mali, as you can see, she's the one selling it. Hey, All right, guys, so like I said, I'll be looking for the name of the food for you. This is the Palmyra sprout, okay, the roots of the Palmyra palm tree. So it can be dried or cooked and eaten as snack. It tastes exactly like cassava when cooked, exactly what I'm eating there. So yeah, it's a street food here. I saw it and I decided to buy it and Ferdinand was telling me that it's a Palmyra um, roots that they have cooked, but I wasn't sure so I had to research before giving you the information. So yeah, that is it. Okay. Oh, thank you all for watching the video up to this end. Um, can you do all to subscribe and thank you so much for support. Hey guys, so when I bought this thing, there were some ladies there who said I should buy some for them. They were thinking that maybe I won't buy for them. Like me, I'm most stingy, right? So I bought it for them and they liked it. And I'm so happy that I did. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy that I didn't buy for them. They liked it. Guys, I bet you this market is nothing compared to makola market you guys it is so huge it's it's bigger than makola market it's so huge wow i won't even lie to you i just didn't want my videos to be too long that was why i didn't show you everything but manians if they want to do something if they want it they get it big they're like the nigerians yeah maso parala let me show it to you. So I'm about climbing that footbridge and this is what they have written on it. Onichie Paso Parala. Onichie means thank you. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see. See. Onichie Paso Parala. Onichie means thank you. Thank you. I guess it means thank you for coming to Barala. Hmm? I don't know. I'm just saying. So if you understand what it means, kindly drop a comment and let me know if you know you know right if you know you know guys you won't believe what i experienced on this food bridge you guys just wait for it oh my goodness look at the things i'm wearing here it's shaking oh my goodness i'm so scared when i look down i fall you guys this thing is shaking 
it is shaking when i look down i fall i don't want to fall you guys oh i'm so scared i'm so scared oh my goodness oh my goodness the thing is shaking i'll not even lie to you guys it's shaking when you step your foot on it it's just bumping where look at that i don't want to look on the floor I'm so freaking scared oh lord have mercy on me Ui. Ay, let me hold it though before i fall jesus christ of nazareth hey this is so broad hey i know that people will think that i'm mad hey me i want to go to do what is that thing called that thing that you work on a very slim rope the thing in cape coast ha, this man where did he pass but yeah. the thing in cape coast i don't know i was thinking i can go and walk on that and even this thing i can't walk on it me i've forgotten the name hey man can't take this my heart is coming out of my chest can you imagine damn guys thank you for watching this video that thing was so tall and so broad and very long hey they want to kill me i cannot die everybody puts everything anywhere me i don't know what to do when i'm holding something i'm scared of putting it on the floor so that nobody beats me but Ferdinand also says I should put it on the floor. What if I put it there? They say, hey, come for it. What will I do? Me, I don't want any embarrassment. Can you imagine? Here is it. I've been holding this for God knows how long. Hey, it's made of what? Sinker. Yeah. Yeah, look at the mirror. Yeah? No, mommy. Let's have it. Street food though, I don't know, it's a strange food. Like that's why I want to fight for you guys. It's like granules mixed with corn powder, that kind of thing. Zoe, that kind of thing. Okay. I prefer this one. Give me this one. So this one tastes like um, corn powder and sugar. Street food in Babako Mali, you guys. Me, I'm just buying it for you guys. So I'm buying it for you. For you, oh, for you. Mm. It's not sweet though. It's sweet, but it's bitter sweet. I don't know. It's it's sour and it's sweet. I don't know what to say, you guys. I'm just tasting this thing for you. Hmm? This I look. Mm -hmm. It's sour. It's like there is um, lime inside, there's sugar, and there's corn powder. I don't know whether it's corn powder or whatever, I don't know. But it's powder, lime, sugar because it's sour, so I guess they put some lime in there. But 
It still tastes so good. Street food in Bamako. Mali. Okay. Eh? Eh? Now time car.